Hello, hello, beautiful creatives. I have another unboxing video for you today, and I'm so excited to open this. These are mostly gifts, things that were gifted to me by viewers and by a company um, that I, the, the item from the company, I had to wait quite a while to open, so I'm excited to open that. And they are things that sort of came in in dribs and drabs from a gift order. And I've been holding on to them. I've been actually fondling some of them because I have wanted to play with them. I think I actually only purchased two of these items for myself. So I'm really excited to open them up and share with you what I got. I won't have time to do a whole swatching thing in this video. So I'm looking forward to just having a really relaxed unboxing with you guys. And then maybe we'll play around with some things, do some informal explorations with them. I don't know yet, but I can't wait any longer to open this. So those of you that follow me know that an unboxing video is one of my favorite kind of videos to make. So here we go. Let's see what I got. Okay, let me show you some of the little things um, first while I have the camera set up this way. And then I'll probably have to put the camera overhead to show the bigger items. But this one, I can't wait to open. I've waited quite a while for this. This was uh, from that gift order from Fran, and it's CSY Art Gallery. It's handmade watercolors in an adorable little tin. Tin box, CSY Art Gallery, handmade honey watercolor. It's, I guess it's made in Germany. That is going to be really fun to... See, I love this little tin, it's so cute. That is adorable. Mini Tin Box, CSY Art Gallery, handmade watercolor. It's got a little silica gel packet in it. Oh, and it's got magnet strips so that you can stick your little pans into the container. And I will show these better overhead. So they're metallic colors. So there's Inca gold, crystal silver, chocolate green. Ooh, that sounds interesting. Golden copper, red brown, and gold pearl. So these are gonna be really fun to play with. I'm gonna, that's gonna be fun. I I'll, I may have to do that in another video for swatching. I'm not sure. We'll see. What color was this? Oh, this red brown is like a pinkish. I don't know if I can show this close enough so you can see it, but that's, per, that's gonna be a pretty color. So these are gonna be so much fun to play with. They're such cute. Aren't they like candies when they're all wrapped up? They're so cute. So I will unwrap those. I just love this packaging. I think it's absolutely adorable. That is so cute. You know, I was talking about my last unboxing boxing being gift worthy. Well, this is a gift from Fran. Thank you, Fran. You're way too generous. But this is so cute the way this is packaged. Really fun. Yeah, that's fun. Okay, so while we're talking about Fran, remember Fran bought me in that, I think this was all part of Fran's same order. It's just that some things got shipped later, Fran, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. But this is, remember she got me the WD um, clutch, pencil clutch. When I got it, it got the, had the graphite leads in it. And then Fran, who is so generous, went back and bought me a set of, these are the Koinor um, Russet Sepia, it's called. So that's what they look like. And then this is what they look like opened up. They kind of remind me of Sanguine. And I have been putting these to good use. This one I did open ahead of time and I have been playing with it, and I have it in my clutch, and you can see I've worn it down. Oh, and I think I forgot to up, got, update you guys on that. The, the top that you push down to extend the lead is a sharpener, 
So when your pencil gets dull, I've already used it a few times, you just stick, take it off. <laughs> and stick it on this end and just twist it and it sharpens your pencil for you. So I won't take the time to do that now, but that's kind of nice. Have your sharpener right on your pencil. So I have been having so much fun with this red. What did they actually call it? Russet sepia. It's, um, this has been fun. And I'll show you some of the drawings I did in my sketchbook with the red pen. This was from Fran too, right? Yes, this was from Fran, yes. This was in my other, I did, I showed this in another unboxing video, the last unboxing video, I think. Is I had purchased a couple of these books and shown them in a previous video, and then she got me the Just Draw Botanicals. So I didn't have a chance to flip through it in that video, so I'm really hoping I get a chance to flip through it in this video and show you that a little bit. And this is one of the items I bought myself. And I know, I know, I said I was on a sketchbook ban, but I can explain. <laughs> I can explain. Don't shoot, I can explain. This are this, these are uh, sketchbooks that I have finished quite recently. And um, I have a, I'm going to be doing a sketchbook tour on those very soon. But the one that I just finished, oh, I don't know, a few days ago, not that long ago, is my Art Creations book. And this is, you know, I have to have one of these books. It's so funny because Emma Carlisle sort of introduced these in her Patreon. She's sponsored by them, I believe. So she gets cases of these and she uses them in almost every one of her Patreon sessions. And then all of a sudden, everybody on YouTube and everybody on Patreon, um, every time you turned around was using these. And I was a moleskin fan at that time. So I really didn't have any desire to try this. But then I was started watching Francis Ives' Patreon. Um, Oh, and Sarah Dyer uses them. I've never belonged to her Patreon, but I know she uses them. Um, anyways, a lot of people, a lot of YouTubers started using these. So a year or two ago, probably at least a couple of years ago, I switched from my moleskin to these because these are so much more affordable. So that is done. That one is full. So that's how I justified that, buying this, because I have to have an Art Creations um, or a moleskin type of journal with a cheaper paper and that you can just not feel precious about an inexpensive sketchbook. I use these all the time in my art nest and these, I just absolutely adore these for really just experimenting, you know, that kind of really fresh experimental creativity. So I, this was a must have. So I had to buy that. Um, this actually uh, YouTube, oh, I should have looked it up first. I was posting and still am posting on uh, Instagram about, the, they have little video clips um, from the movie of Charlie McKay's The Boy, The Mole, The Fox, and The Horse story. Well, I was posting those and one of my YouTube viewers or Instagram followers or both uh, sent me a message and said, you know, there's a book on Amazon with his original illustrations. And so I ran over there. She actually even sent me a link, I think, but I ran right over and looked it up. And this was so inexpensive. There's another book that has illustrations from the movie, which is much more expensive. I, I forget what this was, but it wasn't expensive at all. And this has his original illustrations for the story. And it is touching. This is so heart opening, this beautiful, simple little story and um, illustration. So I'll show some of that in this video. i to make some room. So many gifts. So this one is um, the Jack Richson Assorted Sauce. And I don't remember where I even saw someone using these. It might have been on a patron. I don't even remember. You know, I may not even even have seen someone using them. I might have just seen them and thought that they would be cool. But they are an assorted, it says, contains 10 full-size sticks 
a silky smooth drawing crayon made with high quality pigment. Um, but they're, I'll, I'll have to look into it more. They're made with mixed ingredients, like they're parsh, partially, I'm no, no, I'm not even gonna guess. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to look them up. Maybe I'll just go ahead and take the plastic off here. These I think are gonna be fabulous for drawing. I mean, I'm thinking that it said that they were like a cross between like a wax crayon pastel and a soft chalk pastel. Clay, maybe there's some clay in them. I don't know, I'm gonna have to do my homework. I should have um, done my homework before, but you know me guys, I get too excited about unboxing, so. Not sure how this opens. It's got a nice little thing in there, uh, styrofoam. Ooh, oh, I love the colors. Very neutral for sketching. That is gonna be a lot of fun to play with. Ooh, yeah. These will be, these like the greens and the grays will be so much fun on um, black paper, those colored paper, toned papers I have. There's like a white, Let's see if I can show you while I'm, a white, a brown, a very light gray, a mid-tone gray, green, a greenish gray, and then some, I don't know if the, some of these are like a Payne's gray, a dark blue, and then black on the end. These I'm actually really excited to try. So that'll be fun. That will definitely be fun to play with. I think this, if they're not too messy, I think this is going to be a really good art nest item to draw in my new sketchbook. Okay. And this book, actually, I think this book, and forgive me if I actually showed this before, but I don't think I did. This, I think, was from my birthday Christmas art haul, and it came separately from all the other items. I think it was out of stock, and it didn't come till much later. So I'm pretty sure I didn't show you guys this. This is the Landscape Painter's Workbook. Essential Studies in Shape, Composition, and Color from Mitchell Albala. And um, I have seen him, his courses on um, the Winslow Art Center site in a few years ago. I got this book of his, and this is a fabulous book. This is a hardcover. Both of these books I'm, I'm sure you can get on Amazon, but both really great books so this one um i hope i didn't show it to you in a video before but i'm pretty sure i didn't so that will be fun to look at and then the last two okay i'm going to open this one first because i've already hinted to you at what this is this is the Mi Lang Solid Watercolor Pigment Set. So Mi Lang is a sister co company to Paul Rubens. So Paul Rubens sent this to me to um, review and I'm really excited to show this to you guys because this is from what they were telling me and I she emailed me some more information. When I actually go to review these, I will give you all of that information, but these are a, a very affordable student grade paint. Isn't that pretty case? But they're a high quality studio, or a high quality student grade paint. So they have a big, nice heavy um, swatching card. And it says, Mi Lang Solid Watercolor Pigment is made of Arabic gum finely ground with pigment filled for many times and dried naturally. It has high color concentration, good transparency, soluble in water and easy to dip. Oh, that's so funny. I have a note in here. Do not review until February. Okay, so it has a nice plastic sheet in here with all of the colors, which is nice, all swatched out. Oh my gosh. 
they're all wrapped. That's going to take a while. I'll have to do a high speed unwrap of those. That's definitely going to take a while. Wow. Oh, I see. They have a water brush, water brush pen that they give you with it. So these I'm really looking forward to trying because they're supposed to be really richly pigmented. People rave about the Paul Rubens watercolors. I have a few followers that really struggle financially and um, they always are asking me what's a good student grade um, watercolor. And you know, in the past I've reviewed things like M. Graham, Daniel Smith, um, uh, not Sennelier, but um, Schmincke, you know, brands that are anything but cheap, high quality, beautiful brands, but they're not cheap. So I'm excited to be being given these items from companies that I can share with you guys so that there's options. You have options. Um, student quality doesn't have to mean poor quality. There are good student quality paints out there and nobody should have to paint with really inferior products. I really believe that there are products out there that are good quality that you don't have to pay a fortune from. And from what I'm learning, Paul Rubens is one of those companies that offers those and Mi Lang, the sister company. Um, I'm sure there's other companies too, but this is going to be really fun to review for you guys. I'm not going to do it in this video. It's going to be another video, but I couldn't wait any longer to unbox it. I'll have to film for you when I, I might not even put this back in the box. I'm too excited to look at this cute tin. Wow, this is great stuff. This is so exciting. An exciting um, art haul. Okay, and this last one. Let's see, get some of this stuff moved over. Okay, so my pile is growing. Lots of stuff to be really excited about. It's going to be super fun stuff to play with. So excited to share these new things with you. This one is brand new for me. This is something, a company that I guess I had heard of. Um, there's two versions of the of product that this company gives out. And I had heard of one and one is Art Snacks. And when they contacted me, we kind of went back and forth on what I do and um, what kind of products I would most be most likely to use. And she told me that they had another type of box. So there's two different subscription packages. One is the art snacks and the other is watercolor snacks. So she sent me the watercolor snacks box. I had no idea. I didn't even know there was such a thing. So this one, I think I am actually going to flip the camera around so you can see it in a clearer way um, because I'm really excited to open this. I didn't know anything about this company. I've never received one of their boxes before, so this is brand new and really exciting. Okay, so this is the Watercolor Snacks box. I had never heard of it before. Uh, it's a subscription box. I think the Art Snacks might be a monthly subscription and I think the I think she said that the watercolor snacks box is a quarterly subscription, and you get some bonuses with it. you get some watercolor color classes that you get to join when you sign up for this. I think you get for like the month um, of whatever package you got. There's watercolor classes, and there'll be more information about that on their website, and I will share that link below when I go to swatch this out. I'll look all that up, and I'll give you more information. But this box came with a Fabriano watercolor pad. It has 12 hot press, 25% cotton, uh, 140 pounds, 300 GS, GM, um, 9 by 12, it's acid-free, hydropower product, made in Italy. Uh, yeah, so that's, that's nice. Nice heavy paper. That'll be fun to play with. Okay, what else? Drum roll. That's the paper. And then they give you this Ziploc bubble wrap bag, which... You know I'm not going to be able to throw out. I'm going to have to reuse that for my, maybe my plein air bag. Yeah, actually it would be nice for my plein air bag. Okay, so what did we get? A art snacks or watercolor snacks palette, empty palette, to put your watercolors in that they send you. So that's nice. This is their own brand of watercolor palette, I believe. 
with their little logo on it. And it has a project sheet. My light is casting a, a shadow. There we go. It has a project sheet. Oh, how to paint gemstones. Okay, gives you the step-by-step -step instructions. All the information about the things that are in the box, which is cool. Ooh, ooh, are all these things really in this box? Wow, let's see. Watercolor snacks, half, well, actually what I'll do is when I go to review this whole set and swatch it out, I'll read to you everything. Now I'll just show you. Ooh, let's just pull this all out. Oh, they give you a lollipop, which you guys that watch me all the time know that Don and I are on this brutal healing diet for uh, low histamine, for healing mold illness, and we cannot, we have not had any sugar or flour products or gluten or anything for quite a while now. They give you a sticker with their logo on it, which that would be fun to put on the outside of one of my watercolor journals. And the watercolors are, oh, awesome. I have a tin of Sennelier watercolors on my, I think it's my Amazon wish list, maybe my Blick wish list. I've had it on there for months and months and months because I have been dying to try Sennelier's watercolors. And that is what this gift box has in it. So let's see, there's um, one, two, three, four, five, six colors in this gift box, uh, neutral tint, which is so great for doing just uh, monochromatic tonal studies, value studies. This is carmine, emerald green, blue and danthronine, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but uh, Kaput Mortem. Ooh, I've been wanting to try that color. And, ooh, Indigo Blue. Who doesn't love Indigo Blue? This is fun. This will be really fun. Interestingly, I'm not using my regular camera setup. I hope I'm not bouncing you guys all over. This is an interesting color selection, and there's no yellow. Um, wow, that's interesting. So there's... A blue, a red, neutral tint, another blue, another red, but um, so you got the two blues and then the two reds and a green and a neutral tint, but no yellow. So this is interesting. Oh my gosh, this is so funny. It's like they read their my mind. This is another item that I have been dying to try. It's the Albrecht Dirt Jur. Again, don't know if I'm saying that right, but uh, it's their Mangus watercolor pencil. I have a small set of these on, again, I forget if it's my Blick wish list or my Amazon wish list, and I have been really, really wanting these. I don't have a good set of... Um, watercolor pencils, and I love how fat these are, especially because my hands have gotten so arthritic. This is crazy. This is on my wish list, and this is on my wish list. Wow, and it's the yellow. That'll be really interesting to see. Okay, I gotta grab, you know, I just have to grab and see what this looks like. Ooh, oh wow. It's brighter than I thought it would be. This is going to be fun to play with. Oh, this is going to, this is going to kill me because now I'm going to want that set even more. Yeah, Albrecht Drur Mangus. The Mangus ones are nice. They're the big, and it's it's by Faber Castell. I forget if I said that. And this is their Cream One Hundred and Two. It gives you light fast rating. That's pretty awesome. These are cool. I am, I'm loving, I'm, I'm wanting these. Okay. And then, golly, they give you a lot of stuff, guys. Man, this is the Uni Pin Fine Line Extra Fine Brush. Oh, it's a brush pen. Water and Fade Proof Pigment Ink. Wow. The color is black. Extra Fine Brush. 
Oh, I guess that the EFB is extra fine brush. It's got a nice cap. Can you see through that? It's got kind of a, they put the white behind it. It's got a see-through thing there so you can see the tip. Like if you're purchasing it, you can see how thin the tip is. Oh, wow, I guess that's extra fine. Wow, that is the finest brush tip I think I've ever seen. Okay, got to just make a mark. This is a really exciting. I like this idea of the watercolor snack box. Oh, wow. Let me put this down so I can not be wobbling all over. You can get quite thick, even though it's really thin. Oh, ooh, it gives nice marks. Look at that. Wow, I love that you can get those, those sort of striated marks. Look at the texture that you can get with that. And this is really smooth paper, wow. Okay, this is gonna be, wow. This is gonna be a lot of fun to play with. This is a very generous box. I don't know yet what the cost is. I'll have to look that information up for you when I'm ready to do the review on these. And these reviews will be spread out, of course, because this is just gonna to be too much for one video. But that is so far. And then look, more, and the book. Okay, three brushes, not one, not two, three brushes. Let me see if I can get these to show better for you. Wow. So what are these? This one is King Art Oval Petal Premium 2 Original Gold. Okay, I don't want to bend the bristles until I wash them, but that's the first one from King Art. And then this one is, oh, Raphael. I do like Raphael brushes. That is something I have in larger sizes and I really enjoy them. So this is the Raphael Imitation Kalinske, a number one, and that is a fine tip. That is a very fine tip. Wow, this just looks like a really nicely made brush. Okay, well, I'm not gonna put that back on. And this one is a Princeton Lauren. I'll be darned, I've never tried the Laurens. I have a lot of Prince, different Princeton brushes, but I have never tried anything called their, the Lauren. And it's a size two, 4350R. So that is that one. So three brushes, a pad of paper, one, two, three, four, five, six paints, the Mangus, Faber-Castell Mangus watercolor pencil, this gorgeous pen, the box, the sticker, the uh, instructions, and the classes that they give you with these. I think it's four weeks worth of classes or something. Um, yeah, again, I'll give all that information when I do the swatching with this, but this is a nice, nice haul. I feel like to do it justice, I should lay it out on white instead of my crazy colored background here. Okay, that is a generous package, I think. That is really sweet, all of these new toys. In a, the, like I said, I believe the watercolor one is a quarterly subscription box. And I think the Art Snacks one, their regular Art Snacks one is a monthly subscription box. But this, wow, would this be fun to open 
every few months open a box full of all these kind of surprises. And it's amazing how this box nailed it for me. She, she didn't ask me anything about specific brands that I would like or anything like that. It was just, um, you know, um, I paint, I paint with watercolor, gouache, those kinds of questions. So to, to get that, which is on my wish list and these, which are on my wish list, that is pretty cool. That is really cool. And I think it's really nice that they give you a box to put them in. All right, this will be really fun to review in depth at some point. Okay, so this was a really exciting art haul. I got the books that I bought for myself, the um, watercolor art snacks box. Oh, you know what, guys? I'm so dense. I just got the lollipop because it's the art snacks and this sheet they give you where they tell you about, they give you more information about everything that's in the box is called their watercolor snacks menu. That is so cute. So this watercolor box, um, watercolor snacks box from Art Snacks was super exciting. And then the gifts from uh, Fran, you know, this one was from the other, uh, unboxing but then the leads she gave came afterwards and the book came afterwards so that's going to be really fun um oh and Fra oh and these were from fran too the csy art gallery honey metallic watercolors made in germany german imported material classic retro exclusive design retro style and then the sketchbook that I bought fully justified buying for myself. And then the Mi Lang um, sister company to Paul Rubens that Paul Rubens sent me to review. Wow, that's going to keep me busy for a while, guys, doing reviews on all of this stuff. That's a lot. <laughs> I'm going to be busy pumping out videos for you guys. This is a really nice assortment of stuff. I just can't wait to get my hands on it. Oh yeah, and this, did I mention this? The assorted sauce. Yeah, that's fun. I gotta look up what that is again. I know it's a combination of products. A silky smooth drawing crayon. Yeah, that's gonna be fun to play with. Wow, all of this is gonna be so much fun. And then I'm, I'm gonna do a sketchbook flip through of these three sketchbooks that I just recently finished. So yeah, that'll be another fun video. All kinds of stuff in the works for you guys. What a nice selection of things. I just feel really blessed. I feel really blessed that people and companies send me, send me these things. It's just, it just really lifts my spirits. It's, it's really nice to receive things. To have people like what you're doing enough to send you gifts like this. That's cool. So thank you, Fran. Thank you to my gift givers. Thank you to the people that support my channel. Thank you to Paul Rubens, Mi Lang, Art Snacks, all the... I, I hate listing people because I know I'm going to forget somebody's name. But yeah, um, thanks to me for buying this for myself, even though I'm on a sketchbook band. These are going to be really fun to explore with you guys. Okay, let me get things tidied up here. Since this was such a crazy busy week, I didn't get to play with a lot of my new toys, but I did get to play with this and my clutch with the red lead that Fran gave me. So I thought I would show you a couple of things that um, I did with those. This was with the uh, graphite lead that came with this, the big, thick, chunky graphite. These were just contour drawings with that big, thick graphite. It's so much fun to play with, but it is very smudgy. You do have to put paper between your sheets because it, it's such a soft lead. It smudges a lot. But this was done with that graphite stick in here, and it was fun, really fun to play with and work with. Um, these were done with that. Actually, this looks like it was done with thinner. I think this was done. This actually might have been done with Derwent. Yeah, I think that was something else. That's something else. These were done with my graph gear. Um, this was the uh, 
assorted sauce. And I did this in my art nest uh, while I wasn't feeling good. And it's, in my opinion, it's not the greatest product for working in your art nest because it's it's really soft. It, um, it kind of made a mess. It wasn't a terrible mess. I mean, I think it would be fine for working in the studio. I just don't like things that are pastel -y when I'm working on my lap and I got to deal with the dust and all that. So these were really fun. Love the colors. And this was just a little experiment that I did with it. And it was fun. Just sort of a really atmospheric, soft landscape. Uh, let's see. That was done with my graph gear. That was done with my graph gear. This was done with, hmm, probably Tombow and Luminance, I think. This was my uh, King Art gel pens, temper sticks. Not gel pens, yeah, they're gel sticks, temper sticks. This was the temper sticks. This was Derwent Ink Tense. And this I did last night. I joined the 100-day challenge. And for my 100-day challenge, I'm going to do sketches. I think for most of the time, I'm just going to do really quick sketches, expressive sketches. But last night, I felt like sitting down and doing an actual drawing. So that is my um, day one drawing for the 100-day project. So that will be fun. For me personally, it's going to be 100 days of sketching. So that was those. And then in this sketchbook, I think I have some that were done with... This was actually done with that clutch. Um, let's see what I've got. This was something I did on Patreon. I'm not sure if I showed it on my YouTube channel, but these were some loose skies that I showed on my Patreon page. Okay, this was done with this clutch with the red lead. I forget what the, they call it, russet sepia, the color. This was just a paper bag that was sitting on the coffee table one night. This was done with that red and then some, maybe some ink tents on top of it. This contour drawing was done with that. These figurative drawings were done with that. Just really quick contour. This was done with the thicker lead. So I have been really having a lot of fun with this clutch. These were done with that. I mean, it, because the lead is so thick and it's soft and it dulls down so fast, you really don't have a lot of control over your drawing. And that's just the perfect situation for doing loose drawings this was i think this was actually one of the first drawings i did with the with the graphite in there this was actually different this was the bobcat that was in our yard and that was done um with graph gear okay so yeah i think that's i think that's all the ones i did with my clutch i don't think there's any in this book that i did I think these are Sarah Dyer. I, I uh, was watching um, Sandy's stories and I decided to join the Sarah Dyer. So these are my Sarah Dyer drawings. I'm gonna show these on Patreon. Okay, so that is what I got done with my toys this week, playing with those. And I really enjoyed, really enjoyed these. Love this. This is so much fun to play with. I find the way I hold it is like this um, instead of like this because it's short and I think that that's a really nice loose way to draw. So that was fun. And then again, I didn't have time to really go over this book. What I should do is um, do another video where I really give some good coverage to these books. But this is the Drawn from Life book that Fran gave me and I think it completes my set of Helen Birch books. Um, there's Freehand, Drawn to Watercolor, Drawn from Life. Um, isn't there one other? I can't think of what the other one is. Love these pictorial indexes that show you 
all the different artwork that's in the book. So you can sort of look at this and then go wherever you want to. Really gorgeous. Each of these books is just so creatively inspiring and stimulating. These drawings are so beautiful. Look at that. Oh, I love that. Highly recommend these books for inspiration. And then the little short paragraphs about the artist and the technique. And it's just, it's just a really fun, inspiring book. Easy little bits of information, easy to learn from. This was actually partially what inspired me to um, do my 100-day project on sketching that and Sarah Dyer's um, patron. I had belonged to Emma Carlyle's. I know I've mentioned that a lot. I dropped out of Emma Carlyle's to do Francis Ives for a while. And now I think I'm going to drop out of Francis Ives for a little while to do Sarah Dyer's. I'm really enjoying Sarah Dyer's. I'm enjoying the really quick timed sketches. And because Sarah Dyer and Emma Carlyle do a lot together, I may end up doing, I may end up re-signing up for Emma Carlyle's at the same time. I just don't want to sign up for something I'm not going to be able to use, but these were um, some of the timed drawings from Sarah Dyer's. That was three minutes. This was three minutes. This was five minutes. This was eight minutes. Eight minutes. Yeah, it's been fun. Like I said, I, I've been watching Sandy Hester's stories and her drawing has just evolved to a state that I absolutely love. Um, the things that she's putting in her stories recently. And I know that she, we actually were in Emma Carlyle's um, Patreon at the same time, but then I dropped out and then she joined um, Sarah Dyer's and I love how her drawing is progressing since she's been in Sarah Dyer's. So I joined and I sent her a note and thanked Sandy for inspiring me to join because it is awesome. It is an awesome patron. So anyways... That's the timed drawings. And it made me realize how rusty I am at drawing. So um, hopefully this 100 days of sketching will help me sharpen my drawing skills again and get a little more expressive. This was pro way tighter than I meant to do. I don't, I, my intention isn't to do really tight drawings for 100 days. It's to do much looser work, but. Okay, so there you go. That is some play with some of my art haul toys, a little qu quick peek at the book, some sketchbook looks, and um, yeah, I think that's a wrap for this week. I'll talk to you guys next week, and I'll see my patrons on Patreon. I've got some content that I'm going to be uploading in the next couple of days, so God bless you guys. Have a great creative week, and I will see you next week. Okay, and this one, hmm, uh-oh, where did this one come from? This might have been, so this might have, hmm, I think, hmm.